This video is for PC gamers only. This is about how to optimize the game in terms of frames per second and CPU load. So I am running a very recent high-end CPU and I have the NVIDIA 4090 and I get about 250, 270 frames per second and I don't use frame gen. So I had a few stutters in the game and I had a very bad high CPU load. It's very easy to fix. Just follow this video. So first of all, let's start up the, graphic, the graphics quality settings. Press edit here. And what you can do is you can set everything to low except a few things. Texture quality. If you have a high-end GPU, you can set this to high. Don't go over high, even if you have a very high-end GPU. It's because the, mem the game seems to have a memory leak issue. So if you go higher than high, for example, on Ultra or on Overkill, sometimes you have this little stutters if you go inside or outside of buildings. Texture filtering can be set on Overkill. Doesn't matter which GPU you usually have, because this one has almost no impact to your GPU. Everything else can be set to low except lighting quality. This can be set to high. It, oh, it just has no impact to your GPU. Just make sure you have enough VRAM and you can see on the bottom right if you have enough or not. Down to shadow filtering, you can select PCF or PCSS. This also has almost no impact on your performance. Difference here is if you have PCSS, the shadow on the ground seems more soft let's say soft and if you have it on pcf it's more like sharp so it's actually a pref a preference setting if you go down set everything to low and this screen space reflection is off and now you go to advanced and make sure you have if you have nvidia graphics card make sure you have it on enabled and boost the reflex low latency difference here is if you have it on enabled this one just removes reduces system latency which increases the responsiveness of your controller or your mouse input if you have it on boost a lot of people don't know if you have it on enabled plus boost that means that your cpu is always on a high level so it never goes down in clock since battlefield is a very cpu hungry game it's the best option. I use personally DLSS. I put it on quality and I have the frame generation off. Obviously we have it off because the input delay is amazing crazy. And the future frame rendering, I have it also off. This one adds like six milliseconds input delay. That's so far it. And then um, what I did is I went to options down to system and then to set up, install, uninstall, and I have uninstalled the multiplayer high-res textures. I personally, I cannot see a difference if I have them downloaded or not. But what I can feel and see is that my frames are now very stable, high, and I don't have any stutters anymore. The game is just running very smooth. Now, if you have a high CPU load, this can be fixed very easy. For this, we have to go first to the desktop when we are on the desktop you have to open the notepad and in the notepad you write these lines i will copy these lines in the description below so you can just insert it there and then what you have to do now is you have to open the task manager and then you go on performance and then very important is you can see here this both numbers and we have the cores and the logic processors. And then the first two numbers here are going to be the cores. So as you can see on my screen, I have eight. So I put the first two on eight and then followed by two zeros. And the last line will get the logic processors, which is 16 on my screen. So I have eight, eight, zero, zero, 16. And now I am going to save this file. Let's select desktop. And then you type in as name, uppercase U, user.cfg. 
and then the type of this file will be all files you save it and now it's saved as a config file you can hover over this and you can see type it's saying a cfg file it's not a text document so what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the folder where your game is installed i use the steam version so i go to program x86 i'm going to steam I'm going to steam apps common battlefield 6 and here you are going to drop down this file i have it also already inside i just replaced it that's it what i'm gonna do now is you have to close the game if you haven't closed it restart the game and now everything should work good and smooth.